Good afternoon, everyone. As this grand solar minimum is intensifying, projections were incredible amounts of hail. Oh, we've seen this twice. Feet of hail burying cars, this time in Spain. Second bombogenesis low heading into Alaska. Six mud volcanoes evolving along a string fissure, just like we saw in Hawaii, but this time activated by the big earthquake, Trinidad. Next time you're driving down the road and you see these giant tension wires, be happy that it gives you life in cold conditions. And cut back on email if you want to fight global warming, because the storage capacity is going to ruin the planet. But what about 5G? You see that thing under there? Each one of these units needs a cooling tower that runs on electricity. Nobody's talking about this. Why not? As we head towards an election in the U.S.-China trade wars, taking a back seat to the Chinese virus outbreak, Brexit and concerns over cyber threats globally, only one investment stands out, gold. Patriot Gold Group has no fee-for-life IRAs where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold or silver. At Patriot, you work directly with an owner and avoid paying absurd broker fees. Call today or request a free investment kit. PatriotGoldGroup.com. The link's in the description box below. And with this eddy grand solar minimum intensifying and we see all the distractions out there and trying to cover for the food shortages next year that we could have prepared for as the sun goes into its 400 year cycle of low activity, we would expect more hail from the atmosphere. We saw this on the equator earlier in 2019. Now we are here again, Spain, freak hailstorm feet burying cars. And this isn't water and slush. You can clearly see that's full deep hail a couple feet. And a few more views here after the hail storm. Malaga in Spain. Mateo World covering some of this as well on their Twitter feed. And even look at the fire truck, how deep that has to go through the hail there. Not normal. Atmospheric compression event. Hail this time. Also, the double bombogenesis rolling over into the Gulf of Alaska. This is possible to set new barometric pressure lows and take a look at that cyclonic spin. Now, at the same time, it's sending another arc storm, an atmospheric river straight up into the West Coast. And with Washington and Oregon already setting rain records, historically, here we go again, early exceptional heavy rains. It's a cycle. And when we glimpse over the curvature of our planet, you can see this storm, how far down it extends. Look how far west it pulls back into that storm there, all the way down to Japan almost. Incredible, crossing the entire Pacific. Now also with the grand solar minimum intensification, more seismic activity and volcanic activity was predicted. Now with that 7.4 quake that just occurred offshore of Jamaica, it seems to have activated six mud volcanoes on Trinidad. This is following right in line with the slight increases that were back in 2016, 17, and 18 of bubblings. But this time, these mud volcanoes, visible here, but you can see the fissure line clearly from one point to the next point to the next point. Now, we saw something in like this in Hawaii as well, over on the Big Island during the eruptions there with Kilauea caldera. So I'm wondering what's brewing in Trinidad because in the first traces of these mud volcanoes coming back to life again after the Venezuela quake in August of 2018, you know, it made a lot of news. It was more black liquid mud. This seems to be a little more gray in color. But after this quake off of Jamaica, you can clearly see that these fissure lines are starting to crack open. It's just a progression from 2018-19. So keep your eyes on Trinidad for more mud volcano activity. Now the wild card here in the lunacy of global warming fight. Cut back on email if you want to fight global warming. Article tries to say that about 2% of the world's electricity is used for storage, cyber storage, if you will, for data. We've seen the demonization of cryptocurrency too. Oh, they're using too much electric to mine crypto. And the authors say the carbon footprint will reach 8% by 2030 because this streaming of artificial intelligence and the data servers and running and costs, they're burning so much electric and they're complaining about that, your email. 
But what's not being talked about is the rollout globally of 5G, because I took these photos myself, and you see the array of towers. What's under there, that thing that looks like a shipping container? That's a cooling unit. Realize every single one of these arrays of 5G, wherever it's placed, needs its own cooling unit because it's running so hot. So what's the electrical input to get the 5G infrastructure up across the planet? I'm sure it eclipses your use of email a hundredfold or a thousandfold. Nobody's talking about this, now are they? And speaking of power, every time we see these high tension lines, just be so thankful that you're not living in the dark in the evening. Because at 30 degrees Celsius below zero, or even anywhere where it's snow laying on the ground during the winter, those cities would pretty much be uninhabitable. Where you're living in these northern climates, that's due to technology and electricity. Because I'd like to be able to see how long you'd be able to survive without electric heat in these kind of conditions through the winter. And this incredible, intense extremes in the weather is going to ramp up from this point forward. The magnetic canceling waves here in Valentina, Zarkova, Shepard, Potpov, and Zarkov's work. The wider that wave is, the more intense our weather is going to become due to effects of the sun on a 400-year cycle. So these next two years are going to be something that we haven't witnessed in the last several centuries. It's not CO2. It's not you. It's the sun. And as we get ready for these changes, as we're seeing with this full-on cascade of events sweeping our planet, My Patriot Supply, Long-Term Food Storage, Adapt 2030, the two-week grab-and-go food crate, and the four-week food supply. My Patriot Supply is still one of the companies that has long-term food storage available. The link's in the description box below, and I will see you next video.